In this problem, we're told to evaluate the improper integral from 3 to infinity of 1 over x minus 2 to the 3 over 2 dx. So in order to evaluate, evaluate an improper integral like this, what you're going to want to do is rewrite it as a limit. So we're going to say the limit, and we're going to pick a variable. In this case, I'm going to choose t. So we can say the limit as t approaches. And so this is going to be a type 1 improper integral. And the reason is because we have an infinity like this in our bounds of our integral. So what you want to choose if you have an infinity, you're just going to say as t approaches infinity. If it's a negative infinity, uh, just write negative infinity. And sometimes you'll have both of them, but you're going to do something different for that. But for now, just focus on uh, with just one. So you just want to say as t approaches uh, whatever one you have here, we have an infinity here. So as t approaches infinity. And then what you're going to do is just rewrite your integral. But where the infinity is, replace it with the variable you chose. So in this case, we chose t. Right, so we can just say from 3 to t of 1 over x minus 2 to the 3 over 2 dx. So this right here is going to be our new integral, right? And we just rewrote it as a limit. And so now what we're going to want to do is solve the limit or the integral. So let's go ahead and solve the integral first. So just rewrite your integral and we're going to focus on this part at the end. So just say the integral from t or from 3 to t of 1 over x minus 2 to the 3 over 2. So the next step is just solving this integral, right? And this is just like a normal integral, so we're just going to solve it. So uh, to do this, you're going to use u substitution. So we can say that u equals x minus 2. That means du would just be, uh, this would just be 1, right? Because we only have the 1, and this would become 0. So it just equals dx, right? So if we want to rewrite this integral, we can just say from 3 to t of 1 over, and then we're just going to replace it with the u. So this would just be u to the 3 over 2. And then 1 over u to the 3 over 2 is just the same thing as u to the minus 3 over 2. So I'm just going to rewrite this as u to the minus 3 over 2. And then we have du, right? So du. And so now we've got it like this. Let's go ahead and uh, find the antiderivative of this. So this is going to become, if we add 1 to this, right? Because we add 1, this is going to become u to the minus 1 half. And then we divide by that number. So divide by minus 1 half, that's just going to become a minus 2 out front. So it just becomes minus 2u uh, to the minus 1 half. And so what we want to do now is just replace our u. So replace this with x to the minus 2. So x minus 2 to the minus 1 half. And then we got to evaluate it from the range, right? So from 3 and 2, or 3 to t. So now we've got it like this, minus 2, x minus 2 to the minus 1 half. So now we just want to plug in our values and evaluate it. So if we go ahead and do that, it's going to be equal to we plug in t, uh, we're just going to have minus 2 t to the minus 2, or t minus 2 to the minus 1 half, and then minus whatever this number is. So plugging this in, minus minus 2, right, because it would be a minus, so this is just plus. So plus 2 times 3 minus 2 to the minus 1 half. So you should realize that this is just going to be 1, so it's 1 to the minus 1 half. 1 to anything is just 1, so it's just... This would just become 1, and then 2 times 1 is just 2. So now we've got it like this, right? So this whole thing right here is just this integral evaluated. So we still have the limit out front. So if we rewrite it as the limit, as t approaches infinity, and then we just replace this with this because we just solved it. So of minus 2, minus 2 times t, minus 2 to the minus 1 half plus 2. Now we just want to evaluate this like a normal limit. So essentially what we do is we just plug in infinity and then see how that works. So let's say we plug in infinity for t, right? Because it says t approaches infinity. So infinity minus 2, if you just take a really big number and minus uh, a definite number like this, it's still going to be a really big number. So we still have infinity. And then if we say infinity to the minus 1 half, that's essentially the same thing as, uh, right? Because if we have x to the minus 1 half, that's the same thing as 1 over x to the 1 half. Right? But keep in mind x was infinity. So... 1 over x to the 1 half is the same thing as just like 1 over the square root of infinity. And so notice the square root of infinity is just going to be a really big number too. So essentially it's still infinity. And then 1 over infinity, that approaches 0, right? This, this number is just going to get super close to 0. So essentially this whole thing right here is 0. And then minus 2 times 0 is just going to be 0. And then we just have 0 plus 2. And so it's just going to be 2. So this limit is just going to be 2. And so since it approaches a definite number like this, uh, it's going to mean it converges. So we would say that this converges. So it converges to 2. So it converges to a definite number. 
And so, yeah, so it's going to converge. If it went to a number like infinity or negative infinity, that means it would diverge. But in this problem, it's going to converge into the number two. So this right here is going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.